Hi, I'm Lake Speed Jr., Total Seal Piston Rings, and welcome back to Piston Rings 101. In this video, we're going to cover ring dimensions as well as material and design. Let's get started. The first critical dimension of a piston ring is bore size. The ring must fit properly in the bore. Too big, it won't fit in the bore. Too small, it won't fit on the piston. In all seriousness, proper fit and fitment is key to the proper function of the piston ring. Accordingly, the piston ring axial height and radial depth must be appropriate for the piston ring groove axial height and radial depth. That's how you get the proper fit and fitment of the ring to the bore and the ring groove, which helps the piston ring do its job which is to seal up the piston. Now, let's talk about piston ring material. Obviously, combustion is a hot business. Lots and lots of temperature is created during every combustion event. All that combustion heat is transferred through the piston ring to the cylinder wall, which we talked about in the first video. Traditional cast iron rings are fine for lower compression, lower horsepower applications. But as you begin to increase power, that temperature rises with it. Now you need to move to say a stainless steel ring. And in the extremes like ProMod and things like that, with the highest amount of temperature, now you have to move to tool steel. So the choice of piston ring material is dictated by the application. The other thing dictated by the application is piston ring design. Let's get into that. While many people know Total Seal as the home of the gapless piston ring, we actually have many other piston ring designs besides a gapless ring, such as Total Conform and gas ported piston rings, all of which increase efficiency through better ring seal. For help in selecting the proper ring design, material type, and dimensions for your application, please contact our tech department, 623-587-7400, or shoot us an email at order at totalseal.com. We'd be happy to help you. Also, stay tuned for the next videos as we go through in-gap, break-in, and assembly. Thanks for watching.